Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you a new update on my funded trading account with the five presenters. So I've actually had a really good week trading the Forex market this week in my funded account. In fact, I've managed to gain 1.5% on my account, which is one of the best weeks that I've had so far in my funded account. Now you might be thinking 1.5%, that's not very much. How can you be excited about that? But it's all about perspective. So if I had said to you that I've made 10% on my account, that might sound much better than 1.5%. But if I was risking 5% on my account, then effectively I'm only two steps ahead because I've only gained two times more than what I was risking. Whereas with my account this week, I've been risking 0.3% per trade. So making 1.5% on my account means that I'm actually five steps ahead of where I was at the beginning of the week because I've made five times what I was risking for each trade. This is the beauty of profit loss ratios and why I always try to gain more profit than what it is I risk per trade. But if you wanna see some of the trades that I've taken this week, as well as an insight into my broker data with the five presenters, keep on watching. And if you want some more information on the five presenters, I have got a link above to a separate video and I've got a link in the description below if you fancy having a go with them for yourselves. They are definitely my prop firm of choice because they give you really reasonable targets, they give you decent rules to respect, and more importantly, they give you plenty of time to actually carry out the challenge. There's only one challenge, so it's a lot less pressure than most of the prop firms out there. And most importantly, the five percenters are a really supportive prop firm. It feels like they genuinely want you to win and they want to be able to support you in any way that they can. So if you are looking for a prop firm, I definitely recommend them. And let's get to it and jump onto the charts. Okay hey guys, so here I am in my broker in MetaTrader 5 and with my account here, although I am undertaking the challenge for the $80,000 account, for the challenge, I have a starting balance of $20,000. And as you can see, I'm currently up on the account by $263 which is around about 1.3% that I'm up in profit. So if I go into my history here, I'm going to right click and let's just have a little look at the history for the last few days. So I've taken five trades this week. I have taken a losing trade and a small winning trade, and then I have taken three bigger winning trades. So I've managed to make just shy of $300 on the week, which is five times what I was risking, 1.5% up on the account. And actually, I mean, although profit-wise, it's been a really good week for me, in terms of the quality of the trades themselves, it's not actually been anything special for me this week. I've not had any large winners. I've just been more accurate this week, but I have taken smaller targets. So I've managed to just take the profit while it was up on the account. So let's have a look at the trades I've taken this week. Firstly, I took a short on the euro against the Swiss franc, and this was using the larger time frame. So here we have the four hourly time frame, and I was basically interested in this because it came up to this area of structure on the daily where we had been in a downtrend, and price had made this double top pattern here before it broke below the neckline of this double top. It made a pullback here before dropping lower, and then I took the most recent measurements of that pullback and applied it to the current swing low to gain an idea for an entry short, which actually took us into this area of structure here. I did pinpoint my entry on the 20 minute time frame, but as you can see here, it was basically shorting the structure with a stop above it and a target at the lows, which worked out to be two times what I was risking for this trade. And looking at present day, as you can see, it did hit my target down here. It consolidated for a bit. And then as the week went on, it actually continued to drop more. So there was definitely an opportunity to manage this trade a little bit better to get more profit, but I'm still happy with the profit that I got on Euro Swiss. The other trade that I took this week was another short on the Great British Pound against Australian Dollar. This is the one trade that actually resulted in a loss for me. Um, but when I took the trade, I actually thought that this was one of the better uh, trades and was surprised this was the one that lost, but that's how it goes sometimes with trading. And as you can see here, it's a similar move. I took the previous reaction leg -like measurement. I actually doubled the length of that because it took us into this interesting area here on the left where price had consolidated. And 
Price had pushed up and it made another double top pattern here before it dropped below that neckline. And I got in on a retest of that. But as you can see, price just pushed up and it hit my stop. So that was my losing trade. Another trade I took was Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, again on the four hour time frame. And it's the same theory of trend continuation and using the recent reaction like measurements as a gauge for an entry. And here, price has been swinging lower and I basically just took that previous reaction like measurement, I applied it to the low here. And more importantly, where it came to, took us into an interesting area of structure on the left. So I knew that that would be a good place to have my stop well above and a good place to enter into the trade for the short. Now I got into that with a sell limit. So as price pushed up, it triggered my entry short. And then we had this really nice drop down with momentum taking me into profit for this. I was originally trying to get a lot more profit, but I did put a tight profit stop on this trade because it didn't actually break the lows and it started to consolidate here. And I thought there was a chance that price might build a support and then it might push back up to retest this area. If it does that, then I might be able to get back into this, but I didn't want to lose the profit I had already made. So I decided to just get out with profit from that move. And once again, just jumping onto the charts at the exact same pair, the exact same chart we were just looking at for Australian dollar Canadian. And Price hasn't actually gone any further down. In fact, it's been pushing up higher. So I'm glad that I got out with my tight profit stop. And in fact, you can see here, I've made a new analysis of what I'm looking for. I haven't set any order for this and I'm not even sure whether I'm going to get back into this, but I am going to watch it because if we get a candlestick signal here, a bearish pattern, I may consider getting back into this for another trend continuation move to the downside. And here is another trade I took this week on pound Canadian. And this one, I could have got a bit more profit, but I wasn't quick enough to actually take that profit. Uh, originally, I was looking for three times what I was risking for this trade. But as you can see, it's kind of getting a little bit choppy. It's been coming down for quite some time. So I was looking to jump on that trend down with a short. Uh, but because price had actually broken these previous highs here, I was a little bit unsure, but I was already triggered into this with my sell limit using that previous reaction like measurement. Now price did come down with a very strong bearish engulfing candle and it went down to two times what I was risking for this trade. It didn't hit my target, so I was still in the trade. But as it started to build something in this area here, this is a classic reversal pattern that looked to be setting up. Now, I don't usually trade reversals because past experience has taught me to always go with the trend, not against it. But it's always helpful to recognize reversal signals because it can help you to recognize when might be a good time to get out prematurely. And that's what I did here. I decided to set a really tight profit stop. And I'm glad I did because as you can see, price pushed up. It hit my stop here. So I got out with one R, which was basically what I was risking for this trade. And if I hadn't have done, it would have carried on up and it would have eventually hit my stop. And the final trade I took this week was another short on New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. Once again, following the overall trend here, making lower lows and lower highs. And I had been observing the reaction like measurements, which had been consistent on this move down. And I looked to just basically get on that trend continuation short at that level with a stop above structure. And originally I was aiming for a larger profit target at the lows here. Now, although we did break this previous swing low with a large bearish candle, price consolidated for quite a while. And probability says because we're in a downtrend that after that consolidation, it will most likely break to the downside and the trend will continue. But once again, I just wanted to make sure that I banked my profit on this trade. So I placed a tight profit stop above that range, which did get triggered. So I man managed to get out of this trade with 1.5 times what I was risking. So altogether, as you can see, there's no real huge winner there. I wasn't exactly aiming for the jackpot. I just managed my trades. I trailed my profit stops and I basically got what I could from each trade. And as a result, it's left me up 1.5% at the end of the week. So I am another step closer to hitting that target on the account, which feels really good. How have you guys been this week? Let me know in the comments below whether you've been red or whether you've been green. It's always great to hear from you. Meanwhile, if you've enjoyed this video, please do drop me a like below. It really does help the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And I will catch you in my next video. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.